You either die a hero, or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. I can do those things, because I'm not a hero. I'm whatever Gotham needs me to be. They'll hunt you. You'll hunt me. You'll condemn me. Set the dogs on me. Because that's what needs to happen. Because sometimes, the truth isn't good enough. Sometimes, people deserve more. Sometimes, people deserve to have their faith rewarded. I know Pat Moynihan would have been proud to have a lecture like that associated with his name. When he was writing his famous report in 1965, he was Assistant Secretary of Labor in the Johnson administration. And he was trying to push LBJ towards a full employment policy that would cost millions and millions of dollars. Unfortunately, and I think tragically for the United States, millions of millions of dollars were spent in the swamps of Vietnam and not in the cities of the United States. And between 1965 and 1968, rather than pulling poor urban minority members out of poverty, cities exploded in a series of riots that destroyed urban infrastructure and further compromised jobs. And when the Kerner Commission issued, issued its report in 1968, it pointed to the lack of jobs in America's black ghettos as the principal cause of the wave of urban riots. All of the problems that Moynihan saw in 1968 came to pass. And we're now in the grips of another recession with high rates of joblessness, not only for poor blacks, and poor Latinos, but increasingly poor whites, working class whites with less than college educations. Despite the heavy downturn in 2008, we haven't had a rise in violence in our cities. Partially, I think, or probably completely, because Obama's stimulus money was heavily targeted towards low-income urban areas. But that's gone. The last time that a major appeal was made for a full employment economy, something that we could well afford, we squandered the chance can only hope that our political leaders today will listen to the words of Bill Wilson and avoid needless pain and suffering that resulted from ignoring the words of Pat Moynihan back in 1965.